What's up, YouTube fam? What's going on, y'all? Today we're doing an update on Tiff's postpartum depression yes. situation. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, come on, baby. So I just want to give you guys a little brief update. Um, so I got all my medication, as you know, from our last video. Everything's going better for me. My mood's better. I feel more motivated through the day. Yes, I do. Um, what else? Uh, she ain't been doing no crying in the shower, uh, right? No crying in the shower. Um, like if anything happens with him, ain't no crying with that. Like the other day, she he was choking or something. Yeah. And I was like, you want to cry? And she's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm doing better, a lot better. Yeah, so we he has his uh two-month-old like shots. Uh, in a couple days or whatever, yeah. so she's going to cry with that. But that's you know, I mean, that's what I, I don't know. think that had nothing to do with no first part, or whatever. yeah. But uh, this is the update on it like, any partners or anybody like pay attention to your females, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, they get postpartum depression, you know what I mean? Make sure you take care of them, yeah. A lot of us don't realize it, but for me, I did, I felt different, like, I didn't feel like me from birth pretty much yeah and she spoke to her doctor about it what, i did like, like the week that he was the week born. of yeah and she said she said it was just uh baby blues. Blues, ba baby blues baby blues and hormones basically yeah, yeah. and i don't understand how we was able to figure out that she had postpartum but the doctor couldn't figure yeah. it out so i just kind of like brushed it off and i'm like okay maybe she's right you know what i mean and i'm kind of upset with myself that i did wait two months out of the three months of our maternity leave because we kind of wasted it away because she was so concerned about me and like more catering to my feelings and like how my mood was like did I want to go out and do something no I never did like I'm I want to be in the house I don't want to be bothered I don't want to do anything so like for me it was it was like I was like okay I need to do something yeah. about this yeah. like let me contact my doctor again so I sent my doctor an email and was like listen I don't have any motivation. I have no drive to do anything. Um, I'm depressed. I'm crying. And even when I had my doctor's appointment, we did like a video appointment. I'm literally explaining it to her and I'm in tears and I'm like apologizing for her. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm crying right now. And she was completely understanding. Like my doctor was pretty cool and everything. But I, I do wish I would have gotten on medication sooner. So I've been on it for a couple weeks now and I feel a lot better. I do feel better. Like I said, I have more motivation, more drive, and everything. So one thing I can't say her depression did not affect her taking care of him though. <laughs> she don't play no games when it comes to him. No. At all. She don't play no games. <laughs> so what percentage do you think you are at right now? Like how much farther do you think you gotta go to get to beat this depression? So I feel like I was kinda at like twenty five. <laughs> yeah, it was it like I felt bad, like terrible. I didn't feel like me, and I knew I didn't feel like me. And some women, they don't know it, but I knew it. Um, right now, I probably feel like I am maybe like 70. I would say between 50 and 70 at this point, because like some days are good, some days are bad. Um, but it is more good than bad days. Um, everything is going a lot better for me mentally, emotionally, physically, everything. Um and I have you for support, thank God. <laughs> thank you. She's so understanding, guys. Like it's, it's unbelievable how much support I really have at home. So that doesn't have anything to do with the postpartum depression, anxiety, um, everything. Yeah. yeah, like I said before, I thought it was lack of support. Mm-hmm. Not to do with it. No. Not to do with it. No, she's a freaking superhero. <laughs> Like at night, in the middle of the night, like when he wakes up every feed, she's feeding him and I'm I'm pumping. You know, so like, I'll change his diaper, and she feeds him. And that's just, that's our routine. Like, we tag team everything. Throughout that's the whole just night. Us. We tag team everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? You would think most people probably, like, one person wake up while the other one stay asleep. <laughs> We're no. Both up. We're both up. We're both up. We'll both be up the whole time until we lay him down and go yeah. to sleep. Yeah. We're both so, up. So, but uh, being a parent is such a, such a joy, such a new feeling mm -hmm. to me. And, and I think that's, that's one of, you know, how postpartum depression kicks in also is because... Like, you're afraid you're not doing everything right. Like, am I doing this right? Am I doing that right? Like, what's wrong? And why is he crying? Why can't I fix it? Like, for me, it was like a hundred million things in my head and spinning and twisting and like, why this? Why that? Why I think a lot of that has to do with new, being a new parent, too. So. Yeah, obviously, me being a new mom, like, I'm thinking that doing this right. Oh, that huge right. guard. And she reassures me almost every day, like, you're such a great mom. You're doing a great job. And 
you know, I have great support. So don't ever think just because you have great support doesn't mean you don't have postpartum depression because that literally has nothing to do with any of it. Exactly. Honestly, any of it. And I do want to spread like more awareness for it and stuff like that because there's not enough out there for us females out here struggling emotionally and mentally. Yeah, and there's women who's going through postpartum and don't even realize it and they have no support. Yeah. You know what I mean? So please. I would just say if you ever just feel like you're not you. Get say, help. Call, email your doctor and just, just to, you know, have a conversation with your doctor. Now, my, my doctor did want me to do like counseling and speak to somebody, but me personally, I'm not comfortable speaking to a stranger about my feelings. I have my wife I can talk to. Mm-hmm. So and she's perfect support, and that's what I told my doctor. Yeah, but some people are comfortable with speaking to somebody about yeah. the issues that they're having. Yeah. You know what I mean? So do do what you got to do. Yeah. And don't feel ashamed about it. It's no. all right. You yeah. know what I mean? Just do what you got to do to make yeah. sure you're good. Because if you ain't good, your baby ain't going to be good. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to take care of both. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you got to take care of yourself first mm-hmm. before you can take care of your, your little one. Yeah. You know so what I mean? always so, be aware of your mental health. Always, exactly. always, always. Mental always. health is important. I think that's that's ignored so much. But they're like, oh, just push through it. You be I, you know what I mean? No. Mental health is your everything. It's, that's your... Yeah. You got to make sure you're good. And especially for my breastfeeding moms or breast pumping moms, it's a lot on us. It's a lot. And me, I keep like every day I'm like, okay, I'm going to give up. I, I'm going to stop doing it. But I don't. Yeah. I, don't. I mean, I'm supportive what whether whatever decision she decides to make, mm-hmm. whether it comes when it comes to breastfeeding, if she wants to do it, continue doing it. She can do it. If she doesn't, we find a formula that works for him. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I just think breastfeeding. Like I told her before, like if we both had kids together, <laughs> she'd been breastfeeding both, both of them <laughs> because there's no way I could do it. There's no way. Yeah, no way I could do it. Yeah, none. It's a lot. Your, your nipples hurt. Your breasts hurt. Everything you waking hurts. up to pump and when you really don't have to. You know what I mean? It's just mm-hmm. a lot. That's a lot. It is a lot. There's a lot on women. There's so much on women that I didn't even realize. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because the stuff that she goes through, I didn't go through half of it. I only think a quarter of it. And I was a child when I had my son. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what I'm seeing here is women need more support. I'm sorry. Yeah. Women need more support. So if you're with someone who's going through things, make sure you're supporting them. Yeah. Someone who's pregnant, someone who just had a baby, make sure you're supporting them, show them all the love and attention that you possibly can. You know what I mean? Because they go through it. And if they you if you need help, please reach out and contact your provider and or some counseling service. Yeah, because sometimes you just need somebody to talk to. It's okay. It's okay to not be okay. Yeah. Let's just put it like that. Yeah, it's okay. Like it is okay. And we got these these little ones to take care of. Like look at this little guy. Yeah. Here. Look. He's getting so big, y'all. Look how long he is. <laughs> y'all, he's a three-month close, and he's nine weeks nah, old. So that's three to six. Three to six. And the one little, little And he's already guy. almost grown up. Like, look, his little legs is, like, per- <laughs> it's, like, perfect size for his him right now. His little sleeper, he got six months. Yeah. Like, how the heck he's two months old, and he's a six-month stuff? Y'all, he's growing so fast. He's growing so fast, and, like... And we won't even see it. It just happens when we go to try to put something else on him. And we're like, why he don't fit this? Yeah. And that's another thing, like, these babies, they grow so fast, like, you don't want to miss out on it because of your depression, your postpartum depression. So, I say, go out there if, you, if you're if not feeling you and, and you feel like you need help, just get it. It's okay. It's okay to get help. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't be ashamed of it. Exactly. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I mean? And hit that notification bell. That way you know every time we drop a video. His yep. two-month appointment's coming up. Yeah, we will record that. <laughs> We're going to record that, that. <laughs> and I'm going to be crying. Yeah, she'll be crying. Because I don't want him to get shots. So. Yeah, and she's small. Yeah. But peace out, y'all. That's Thanks it for, for watching. Now. Bye.